This video is going to show you how to install Viper Boys ROM on the HTC Evo 4G LTE. I'll have links to these in the description, but basically you just click on Viper ROM Elite and then you go down here so you see downloads. So it looks like you download this one first and then you download the incremental update. So I always copy the MD5 to make sure that I'm downloading the correct file and then we just wait. You can do this in Goo Manager and I'll show you that in a second. Had a little bit of trouble there, just had to pause it and resume it again. Alright, now it's verifying the MD5. And it matched. If it didn't match, it would ask me if I wanted to retry, or if I wanted to keep or delete the download. And we also need to download this right here, which is the incremental update. It's a small update so that way you don't have to go and re-download the huge file again, which is actually pretty cool. We're going to need to do the same. Click down the mall, right click, paste, extract. If you use Firefox, which is an awesome browser, I totally recommend down the mall. I've been using it for years. All right, so I'm going to plug my phone into my computer, and then I'm going to put my phone on disk drive, done, and it's going to pop up, open. You can press open, or you can just close it out. I prefer to just control, and then right click, send to, removable disk. And I use this awesome program called TerraCopy, and you can press this button to eject the drive when it's done, which is pretty freaking sweet. I used this back when I had Windows XP before Windows Vista was even out, because it tells you the speed at which you're transferring a file, instead of just the time. Drive's ejected, I can press enter, I can unplug my phone now, but first I recommend taking it out of disk drive mode. Charge only, done. Alright, we're good to go, now I'm going to switch over to my Canon 60D. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you that you do not have to use a computer if you don't want to. You can just go to Browse Compatible ROMs, Viper Boy, Evo 4G LTE, Elite, and then download this one and download this one. It's very, very easy. Just click on it, click Begin Download. It starts a little countdown, and you download the ROM. If you did like I did, and it's now on your internal SD card, you can just back out of here and press Flash ROMs. I already have one installed. Add from another location and then external SD card. There we go, it was on my external SD card, not the internal one, my bad. You're gonna have to look wherever you put it, of course. And then I'm gonna press on this one. Then I'm gonna do that again. All right, let's see. I think I had to have it in a different location. I absolutely hate the stock HTC keyboard. With Plume, it doesn't spell check at all. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save you guys a bunch of time here. I downloaded Goo Manager from the Google Play Store so that I could download a file and it would create the Goo Manager folder. From there, I simply transferred the files of the ES File Explorer to the Goo Manager folder on the internal SD card. Awesome! By downloading that initial one, it created the Goo Manager folder on the internal SD card. So I'm going to go back to the external SD card, and then I'm going to take this, cut it, go up, find Goo Manager folder, and then paste it. All right, the transfer is done. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this download since I already had it on my SD card. Go back over here to the external SD card, take the incremental update, cut it, delete this one, and then paste. Of course, you're not gonna have to do all of that, especially if you downloaded it using Goo Manager. All this will be pretty much done for you. So now I can go back to Goo Manager, choose Flash ROMs since it'll be in the Goo Manager folder. Press on it, it'll have a little checkbox next to it. Order flash selected. I already have a stock DeoDex ROM right now. If you've already customized your phone and set everything up the way you like it, then I highly recommend choosing the Create Backup. But I've only had this ROM on here for a day, so I'm not worried about making a backup. Flash, yes. Now we're in recovery. And this is gonna take a minute, so I'm gonna of course fast forward through this. Alright, looks like the phone is now rebooting, of course. Duh. Why did I say that? Let's see what kind of boot animation Viper Boy come up with. Hey, it's very similar to the EVO 3D. Except this is not the EVO 3D, this is the EVO 4G LTE. Fun fact is that Viper Boy actually had the Galaxy Nexus, but wanted this phone so bad that he sold it and got this phone. If you don't follow him on Twitter, you really should. He's also working with somebody else on this ROM. I'm really bad with the names, so I'll put it up on the screen. It starts with the B, that's all I know. First boot always takes the longest. 
The reason I'm not too concerned about making a backup of a stock ROM is because we have RUUs and we can flash our phone completely stock with an RUU. If you don't have a RUU or a way to make it stock, then by all means make sure you have a backup of your current ROM on your SD card. Like the Transformer Prime for example, you want to make sure you have a backup. He didn't do the Viper ring on there. Hmm. I absolutely love this phone. The Xbox Live is my 5 GHz network for my Linksys E4200 router, and the Halo one is the 2.4 GHz network. So any device that picks up the 5 GHz network is awesome in my book. My Transformer Prime doesn't even do that. No, it didn't ask me if I wanted to tell HTC. I wonder if he removed that. If he did, that's awesome. And I'm just going to restore my Dropbox. Make sure you do this because you get an extra 23 gigabytes of space for like two years or something. I've already done it, so I'm just going to restore my Dropbox with Titania Backup. I'll sign it to my Google account later. Alright, I'll zoom in on that, but you get a battery percentage in your battery bar. That's awesome. I'm using my Transformer Prime and DSLR controller, so I'm not quite sure if you can read that clearly or not, but it says I have 71% remaining. Why does it focus on my camera like that? This is pretty freaking sweet, and this is something you do not get with a stock ROM. When you drag down a notification bar, you have your quick settings, just like on the Evo 3D, and you just toggle stuff on and off. This is probably one of the biggest reasons you should install this ROM, along with the battery percentage. Who wants a little battery bar that just says, oh, your battery's full, or oh, your battery's half gone, or oh, you're about to die? <laughs> you get like three different colors, but with that it tells you the actual percentage and it even tells you your total RAM right there too. This is why I can't wait for an AOSP ROM. On my Evo 3D I had about four to five hundred megabytes available almost at all times. There is a very alpha build of CN9 for this device, but of course a lot of things are broken. They are fixing things very quickly, and I'll have a video once it becomes more stable. I went without a camera on my Evo 3D for a few months, so trust me, I'm not trying to install a ROM where things don't work. I'm actually ordering the SGS3, so when I get that device, I will install ROMs that are alpha and etc. on this device. I hate that the display dies so quickly, so I need to change that timeout. For 30 seconds to 2 minutes. The less amount of time, the better battery life you get. But I like my screen to stay on while I'm using it for 2 minutes. And when I'm done with it, I'm used to pressing the power button anyway. No real changes here. You get Wi-Fi tether, titanium backup, super SU, power saver settings, root browser. You get the flashlight app, that's pretty cool. You don't get that with the stock ROM. And a logcat, which is for helping developers figure out what's wrong with your ROM. If something's messing up and you do not send them a logcat, they cannot fix it. I use terminal emulator, run, and logcat command and send that. You should have the little reboot options. You do get the power options once you flash the incremental update. Grant it root. There's the menu button right there. And a cool thing is if you go to help and support and about, you see my name right there. I'm actually going to be redoing my video on this because a lot of things have changed. Like, you can no longer go to menu, batch, you've got to click right here, and that's how you run the batch operations. If you took your SD card out of your Evo 3D or another device and you put it in this phone, you've got to go to the menus and change the backup folder location. I have a separate video on how to do that and I can link to that in the description so y'all can see it. That's about it. To me this wasn't really a review of the ROM anyway. It's just more of a quick look at what you get when you install it and how to install it. Alright so I went to the forums and I realized that I did not have the 1.2.1 update. I'll probably realize my mistake while editing so we need to go to Goo Manager which is not installed so we're gonna have to do this part manually. Just power it down. Oh, hopefully fast boot was not enabled because if it is enabled then this isn't gonna work. Hold volume down and power. It doesn't always work for me. Let's try this again. Volume down and power. There we go. It worked that time. It just press volume down to get to recovery and then power. Shout out to Campos9896. Left a very nice comment. I love comments, especially like his. It encourages me to keep doing what I'm doing. Once again, I'm going to save you all a lot of time. The incremental update was not showing up, so I had to install Goo Manager and download it that way. Alright, so when you search for Goo Manager, it pops up. Press on it, install, press accept and download. 
This is absolutely terrible. I gotta take my phone somewhere else just to get freaking a good signal. Granted, super user. Browse Battle ROMs again. Viper Boy. Elite. Download the incremental update. This is gonna contain the power options when you hold down the power button. And a couple other things. Now I'm actually gonna go move this to a better spot so I can actually download the incremental update. But basically it'll show up in your notification bar whenever it's done downloading. The best part about Goo Manager is that you get notified of updates. Simply pressing on check for updates notified me that the incremental update was available and then I just click download. And if you go to the settings, ROM update frequency, by default it's set to do it every 12 hours and when you start your phone up. So when Viperboy updates its ROM and fixes more things and adds new features, you will always be made aware of it. Just press I already have one installed, choose the incremental update. You can actually choose more than one if you want to flash more than one thing, which is another great thing about Twerp is you can do that, which you can't with Clockwork. But since we already have the main ROM installed, all we need to do is do the incremental update, order flash selected, we don't need to wipe or anything like that, and then press flash. And yes, this won't take long because it's just a little 12 megabyte file. I love Goo Manager. I love Torp Recovery. And I love Viper Boy for bringing us awesome ROMs like this. No homo. That was quick, easy, and now we'll have the power control. I'll show you here in just a second. This phone takes the longest to restart, shut down, and everything, but it does everything else much faster than any other phone I've had, or have. Startup does not take nearly as long after you let it boot a couple times and let the ROM settle down. And after this part right here, you get a pretty cool little animation of some evil eyes. While this phone is booting up, I want to go ahead and say a few things. Yes, this video is longer than it could have been simply because of the fact that the incremental update was not showing up in the list of things to flash. So I had to go and re-download it and then flash it separately after I flashed the ROM. You can flash both of them at the same time if they both download successfully. That's why I recommend either downloading it via Goo Manager or downloading it on your computer and then creating a Goo Manager folder on your SD card and transferring the two files there. That will save you all of this trouble. This pops up whenever you make a change to the system directory. Like if you root your phone using a one click tool, you're gonna see this screen. Alright, did I make you guys wait through all that? Hell no I didn't. If you want a synth based ROM, I highly recommend Viper Boy's ROM. Alright, now when we hold down the power button, we should have extra options. And we do! Power off, restart, recovery, bootloader, vibrate, silent, awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. By giving me a thumbs up, it lets you know that you like this video and you want to see more videos like it. Huge shout out to Viper Boy and the developers working with them on this ROM. I will be running this until CM9 becomes more stable. I have CM7.2 on the Evo Shift, which is a much, much, much smaller phone. This phone has my service on it right now because I refuse to use any other phone. This phone is just fast and awesome and awesome. <laughs> this is what Josh doing, I'm out.